The concept of the video is awesome, how they're each doing the, the rhythms. Oh, cool. Genius concept. What is up, you beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Jeremy, and right now you are catching us on the tail end of International Shredder Day. This is where we take a group of different bands from around the world, metal bands that absolutely shred, and we put a little block of them out on Saturdays. And uh, this is the last song of today, so if you've missed any of the other ones, make sure you check my playlist and go back and check those out because there's been some awesome shredding songs. Now, this one is just a personal one for me. This isn't a donation and nobody requested this, but I've been listening to Pomegranate Tiger for, ooh, probably a good yeah, eight years, nine years or so. I've absolutely loved them. They are very progressive, um, no vocals. Um, and I know it's, for some people, a lot of these progressive bands can sort of start to sound the same. To me, Pomegranate Tiger doesn't sound like anyone. Sure, you can pull influences from different bands. I mean, who doesn't sound like something in a certain part of a song? You know what I mean? You can pull that from anybody. But as a whole, they don't sound like anybody. And the parts are phenomenal. The drums are amazing. The shredding, the guitar, I wish I could play like this. So I saw that Pomegranate Tiger had just released two new singles and they haven't put out any uh, like a full length album in quite some time. So I was really excited to see two new singles come out. And this is also a Canadian independent band. Uh, so it fits perfectly with uh, International Shredder Day and we are about to jump right into it. I'm telling y'all, y'all are probably gonna be stoked. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button right there. And now let's check this out. This is Pomegranate Tiger, Devils to Ourselves. Oh, this is gonna be dope. I just know it, I know it. I've been waiting to hear these songs, but I've, I've had to hold off so I could do a reaction to it. That really helps to get the rhythm. <laughs> It's a little reserved for what I was expecting. I'm sure something's gonna come, but it's beautiful. The concept of the video is awesome, how they're each doing the, the rhythms. Oh, cool. Genius concept. Drumville was cool. The rhythm. Video is badass. So this dude is the orig originator of Pomegranate Tiger. And I didn't know he played the drums as well. I thought he programmed it. He's up there really playing the drums. I love this dude. And I love the different rhythms being shown in the video like that by just tapping on your hand or tapping your foot. The reflection. Look at the reflection, that is so cool. I 
It's just beautiful. Oh, beautiful. That was about to go into something. Man, that was dope. Thank you so much, Jeremy, for suggesting this. It was amazing. I'm so glad you suggested it. <laughs> no. Anyways, like I this was awesome. Like it wasn't what I expected. I was expecting to hear some kind of crazy shredding because if you listen to some of the other stuff from Pomegranate Tiger, dude on the guitar is ridiculous. I mean, shredding like crazy. This wasn't the most shreddy song that I've heard by them, but it was beautiful. The rhythms of it were great. The tone of that bass guitar, like it was just dirty. It cut through. And um, I, I love the drums and the fills, how some of the fills were like longer. It's hard to talk about progressive music and time signatures when you don't really know time signatures. I feel different time signatures and I can I can follow them pretty pretty decently, but I can't talk to them because I, I have no technical knowledge about it. It's all just feeling for me. But I know that some of those, it definitely wasn't in 4-4, but I love that they would carry the drum fill longer than when the one would start. I don't know if that makes any sense to y'all watching, but it makes sense in my mind. And uh, I absolutely loved it. It was just beautiful. And there's another song by Pomegranate Tiger that they just dropped that uh, I think we're going to put on the next International Shredder Day as well. I can't wait for the full length album. This is something that I would listen to every single day, whether it's whether I'm focusing on listening, listening to it or just in the background. I'm just stoked that there's more Pomegranate Tiger coming out. And I love their name. Ninja loves their name, too. It's so funny. We'll be listening to something and like I kind of give her little pop quizzes, right? I'll cover up the name of a band and I'll be like, who's this? And she, she says all the time. It's so funny. It's either Pomegranate Tiger or Porcupine Tree. <laughs> and it's just because I think she likes the names, you know, but it's so funny. But Pomegranate Tiger, she's always saying it. Anyways, absolutely loved it. If you guys love this, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button right there. And uh, thank you guys for joining us on International Shredder Day. Drop some comments if you have any suggestions for some other bands around the world, anywhere. I try to stay away from the US bands because we get a lot of notice already. Um, and I would love to check out some other bands that may not get the same kind of notice that we get here in the States. So drop some comments. Um, if you'd like to make a donation request, we'll pop that up here on the screen, uh, make a donation. Really very much appreciated if you do that and um, your donations go to the top of the list of my reactions. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you around soon, my friends. Peace. Hey.